Hi friends, I'll show you how I smush together views A and view C of Simplicity S8982 to make a gorgeous color block dress. Here were some of the design lines that I wanted to follow, a beautiful curved front as well as a dipped back for the color blocking, mixing together two fabrics that I thrifted, a cream and crimson colored cotton jersey. So let's dive in and see what it took for me to make this look. Some things to note is that the seam allowance on this pattern are 5 eighths of an inch. So when I was actually trying to develop the color block of this, I did take that into account. I will be using 3 eighths seam allowance 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance because I primarily used my serger to create this look. Here I'm marking out the front curve and I used the notch on the side seams to act as an anchor so that I knew where to begin the curve for the back pattern piece as well. And then I made the curve go all the way down to the waistline that was indicated on the back pattern piece. To create the handkerchief look at the bottom, I went ahead and marked three inches away from the center front on both the front and back pattern pieces and then created a slant that began about 15 inches from the bottom of the pattern piece. This meant that the length of the slant in the front was 17 inches, making the full length of the slant in the front and the back 34 inches and I would figure out how much fabric I had left to determine the width of that handkerchief front. Now it's on to cutting. The cotton jersey I was using was knitted in the round so I laid my pattern piece for the front along that folded edge and just cut all the way down to the points where I would then begin the curve. All right, so I wanted to bring you over and show you what I'm doing and how I'm getting the scoop detail of the color block. So I might have to bring you closer. Here, if you dig and lean in, you'll see I use my seam gauge to measure 3 eighths of an inch. I plan to use an overlocker once I kind of baste everything in place and check that it's okay. So I'm just using um, the 3 eighths of an inch and that's how I'm going to attach the color block detail and I trace the line of how I want the scoop to go and I just use my tailors sort of curve here putting the 21 at the edge and then making sure that it went to the notch so what I'm going to do instead of tracing this pattern like I probably should have I'm just going to use that detail to um, guide me as I'm cutting it out and it should be the exact same size <sighs> let's let's hope that is the case so I probably this is probably why my snips are so dull it's because I keep doing this but let's see I need to put this marking through to this side and this side and do the same here I am going to move this away. Okay. I use the heavy duty utensils that I got um, at my wedding that we don't we don't eat with these. Um, we have like a lighter set that we use and I find that the weight of these and the length, like the knives are perfect for these longer edges. And then I find that the, the spoons and the knives are great for like the corners because I can get them to just sit neatly there. So that's what I've been using as my pattern weights. So there it is. You can kind of see the ruler under and it's perfectly lined up. The edge is perfectly lined up to that line. So that's what I want. I'm just going to peel that back. And I am going to, I feel comfortable just eyeballing that. This is Jersey anyway, so I'm gonna eyeball the 3 eighths of an inch all the way around and cut that out. Now, because my hem at the bottom of this dress is slanted, I wanted to make sure that I 
cut the hem on a slant as well to accommodate it. So it sort of looks like an all-in-one facing, but that was really essential. And I used my tailor's ruler as well at the very top to make sure that I got those curves just right. And I'm cutting both of these pieces out on the fold because the cotton jersey was knitted in the round. To color block the neckband, I folded the pattern piece in half with a 3 8 of an inch difference. For the crimson color, I cut out the pattern piece with 1 and 3 8 of an inch. And then for the cream piece, it was 1 inch wide. When I would join that together with the 3 8 of an inch on the serger, I, they would then match up very neatly with a bit of that crimson showing on the outside. For the cuffs, I did a similar method, folded the pattern piece over where I wanted the crimson fabric to kind of go, and then I did the same for the cream color as well, and cut that one much shorter so that the crimson color would roll over to the front as you see here. To get the fit I wanted in the end, I removed just a small bit from the center back seam close to the waistline and ended up having to take some inches out at the side seams as well, which meant that my beautiful pattern matching was distorted, but not to worry, the arms cover it. Here in the center front, I love that sort of scooped shape and rounded curve it has here at the bottom. My rectangle ended up being 34 inches long and 15 inches wide so that is what you see added here and because we cut the front and back at a v it has such a beautiful drape yeah here is the dress everyone I know this wasn't quite a tutorial, but if you are ever interested in using the pattern S8982 to create your very own beautiful color blocked dress, I hope that this gave you just a bit of guidance and of course the encouragement to do so. Happy sewing everyone. Stay creative. Bye-bye.